In the previous video we packaged 7 zip and we did some mistakes by purpose in our package because we want to troubleshoot. We did, don't want it to work good. So we put it um, available for all machines, all users actually. Uh, so it should be visible in company portal now. So if we open company portal and let that load, log in. We should have our 7C pair, it's new and got our icon, perfect. So we click on that one and install. It's going to download, extract the files, decrypt actually, and then extract, and then try to run it. And that should fail. It's two megabit, so it should go fairly quick. My connection is not the fastest. So here it starts to download, and it's going to try to run um, PowerShell.com, and that's going to fail. So fail to install. It's going to take a while before um, uh, the console knows about it. We can look about it. Should, or maybe it's instant. Uh, no, it's definitely don't know about it. Let's do a refresh, but uh, th that's normal. It's in, in tune isn't instant, but we can start to look on our client itself. So there are many places you can look. In this video, we look mostly at log files. In the video after, we're going to look in the registry where we also can see. So let's look for log files. So already we had under C program data, which is hidden folder by default. So if I go program data here, we created the GBN log, or actually this is probably created by a previous installer. I'm actually going to delete the, this GBN logs since then we see when it actually gets created. So already our log file that we created in our script hasn't happened, normal, because I haven't even tried. But under program data here, I'm going to make this one bigger, program data, we also have from Intune itself, the log I wanted to look here under GBN logs is the log file we create. But under Microsoft and then Intune management extension and logs, I'm going to put uh, this path in the description of this video. We have Usually there are more uh, log files than this, but the one we're interested in is in Intune Management Extension. Agent Executor is interesting for PowerShell script if you only deploy PowerShell script, not Win32 app. So we can open this one, and I would suggest to open it with uh, something other than uh, Notepad. By default, it probably looked like this, hard to read. I got a little tool that... Um, should have a tool maybe i don't have it on this machine cm trace no i don't even better let's download that on this machine uh, word of caution though um, cm trace is great to look um, uh, log files but you need to have uh, a license for it if you're running uh, sccm configuration manager you have it but so I'm going to go download CM Trace. I know there are some blogs out there who um, have it, but again, you need to have a, a license. Free download, CM Trace. But it's not the latest one. If there's a download here somewhere. I just do that. Yeah, looks like it. CM trace, very good for looking uh, log files. And I can't stress enough that it's not a free tool. You have to have a, a configuration manager or license. Um, I'm going to put under system 32, then I always find it. Uh, am I local admin on this machine? We'll see. I am. Okay, perfect. I'm going to start this one once. And do you want to be a default? Yes, very much. Okay, so that was just about CM Trace. It's totally optional. You can look in uh, uh, Notepad and all that. So let's go back to C, Program Data, Microsoft, Intune Management Extension, Backslash, Logs. 
Okay, now we have CM Trace, and again, you need a license to use it. So let's open it with the CM Trace. It looks like it's already there. We're going to open with Configuration Manager Trace Log Tool. So it's read. You could open it with Notepad, Notepad or another tool, but then it won't update if it comes new entries here. It will be static, and you won't get these. Um, highlights and this one is a bit stupid if it's written this is absolutely no error it will tag it as red why because it just look for the word error okay so we have everything going on on this not only our seven zip so what i do since i'm looking at this recently i know we did it just a few seconds ago i put myself at the very end do a control f and search this one I had used before, but you, I usually search from error code. And since I'm at the bottom, I want to search up to just see if there is an error code, because we probably got a bad error code, so we are not looking for uh, success. So if we go up here, uh, unable to get error code. Okay, I do F3 one more time. Uh, no luck, again one. Uh, this looks interesting. Failed to create install process error code 2. Okay, uh, of course it's here. Let me scroll up a bit. So here it failed. It seems to be R. Um, one way is to see, you see the number here? That's actually the app ID. Underscore 1 means that it's the first version. If we do an update to the package, it's going to be underscore 2. And how do you get the app ID? Well, if we go back to our um, endpoint manager and go to our package, you can take it from the URL here. So this is the um, uh, app ID. It starts with 5FB. If I go back to the client here, my virtual one, this is, um, the, oh, that's here to speak about the user. Uh, here, here is uh, the app ID and it's uh, version one of it. So if we just trace back a bit, it started to download and uh, download the package. Then it's unzip the package. So it's unzip it under C program files, x86, Microsoft Intune Management Extension, Content, Staging, and then the app ID. And then it looks like it's the app. ID. It's a zipped file, and now it uh, actually put it to Windows IME cache, but it still keep the same here. Then somewhere it also decrypted, or maybe it already decrypted. Okay, it decrypted here and then extract it. Because since it's downloaded uh, from uh, CDN, it's um, encrypted in case someone captured it. They can't decrypt it. Only the client can decrypt this one. Okay, so we got the files. Uh, it also see our uninstaller, even if it's not going to run that. But if you remember from the previous video we have there. And uh, what else do we have here? We have installed behavior. Here, it's actually running our command. So here, if we are a bit observant, we could see already that, ah, that com, that's not right. And um, that's where that one is. Then it's setting a current working directory. Remember in the previous video where we said um, script root? Script root is actually gonna be this value because here's where our files are. If you go and look here, the files are deleted at the end so they don't stay. Okay, so it launched the Win32 app installer. It have the files, so it's running. And last Win error two after create process. Already here it knows it's an error and it's giving an error. So we see it's an error in this file and we could spot the error here if we wanted and see, oh, it should not be uh, .com, it should be .exe. So let's correct that. And in the next video, we're going to hit the next error. Let me go here and uh, correct this first. So we go under properties. Scroll down a bit on the program here. We change com to exe. I'll save one. Then we go a review and it's done. Let's go to company portal. Let's do a retry. And this time it's going to fail again. It's going to fail um, 
It's actually going to install, but our detection method is looking for file version 22, uh, 23, and it's going to be 22 something. So let's do a retry and see if it's already now will get the correct. Um, no, it's failed. No, maybe not. It's downloading. Well, this one is program, add remote programs, 7-zip is installed, but you see it still say installation failed. And that's normal, because if we go back again and look at our um, detection method, click edit, a lot wants to click on the three dots, but that's to delete. You actually have to click on the name. We're looking for 7-zip and the version must be 23 or later. Let's see what we have here on this machine. So program files, 7-zip and the file is actually just called 7-zip. So multiple error. Uh, it should, we are looking for file that doesn't exist and and uh, <laughs> wrong version so uh, and what is the version so if we right click and take properties the version is 22.1.0.0 Let's correct that in the next video. In this video, we have been looking at where are the log files for uh, uh, Intune. And those are C program data backslash Microsoft backslash Intune management logs here. And we can also see if we got our install log under uh, program data GBN logs. Yes, we got this one, our own install log. I'm going to open that, going to open up in CM Trace. And we can look at the end. It's red here, but it says installation success or error status is zero. That's actually success. Again, this tool uh, marked this as red because it just find the word error. It's not smarter than that. So our package works now, but the detection method is still not working. It's, um, it's looking for the wrong file before. Now it's looking at the right one. I haven't saved it yet. It's looking for the wrong uh, um, version. Let's fix that in the next video. Thank you very much for looking so far.